Welcome trainers and champions to another Pokemon TCG deck on day. We're looking at Ice QV from Rebel Clash. Yes, Ice QV is kind of that underrated Pokemon. Um, well, underrated. It's underused because it's not that great in comparison to other Vs, but we're going to try and see what we can do with him today. I'm I'm looking pretty excited. I want to see what we can do with Ice Q. We've had more sets come out since. We've had more cards come out since. So hopefully we can try and get something running with Ice Q. So let's see what he does. 210 HP is fine for a V. It's on the lower side. Normally you see about 220 as the good mid range kind of. So it's, it's not too bad. Being a water type means you have things like Capacious Bucket to set out energy, you've got Frost Moth to uh, attach multiple energy on bench uh, water Pokemon, you've got Nessa to get water Pokemon and water energy back, you've got Wash Energy to prevent something, to prevent damage counters I think? But anyways, it's, it's you've got a few tricks for water type Pokemon, it's not too bad. Retreat cost of 2 is great because Air Balloon gets you free retreat. Weakness to Seal is horrible because Zacian is everywhere, he's just everywhere, so just... Be careful. Um, but he has an ability and only one attack. His ability is called Absorption. Whenever you attach a Water Energy card from your hand to this Pokemon during your turn, you heal 30 damage. Which is nice. That's actually not too bad. So you could probably try and do a little tech thing where if Ice Cube's about to get knocked out, swap to the bench, use Frost Moth, attach multiple energy, and you can heal multiple damage, which is fantastic. And for two water on colorless energy, we have Blizzard. 120 damage, and this attack also does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. We like this. This is really 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 cool um and of course we've got a new extra card but i'm going to show you guys that in a second i think you guys know what it is but of course ice cube's not alone today we're going to see who he's with first off we have grammar and v for one colorless energy we search up to two cards from our deck and put them into our hand and for three energy we do 160 to one of our opponent's pokemon which is nice we like it grammar and v always nice Two copies of a Ranguru to swap out a card from my hand with the top deck. Um, everyone knows what Ranguru does by now, it's fantastic. Two copies of Crobat. Everybody knows what Crobat does by now. Say with me, when you get Crobat, put it on the bench, draw up six. We love Crobat, Crobat is amazing. We have two copies of Lampent for the ability top entry, which works well with Oranguru, where it says once during your turn, if you drew this Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn, put it and your bench isn't full, you put it on your bench. That's pretty good. So you avoid putting in Litwick, which is fantastic. And we also have Chandelure, whose ability says all of your Pokemon that have energy attached have no weakness. We literally roll with zero weakness, which is fantastic if we get Chandelure running, which is great. We have Baby Ice Q, also from Rebel Clash, which has has um, an ability where it takes less damage if its HP is full. And for one water, double colorless energy, we have Blizzard. 70 damage, but 10 to the 10 to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon, which again, it's very, very nice. We like that, we like to see that. And of course, we can't have a water deck without Frostmoth. Frostmoth attaches multiple water energy to your bench water Pokemon. Remember, it's the bench, not the active, so be very, very careful. But we also have two copies of Capacious Bucket, one Evo Incense, one Pokemon Communications, four copies of Quick Ball, one Reset Stand, three Switches, one copy of Bird Keeper, two Bosses Orders, three Eric's Hospitality, three Marnies, one copy of Nessa, three Professor's Research, three copies of Tele Telescopic Sight, which does 30 extra damage to bench V and GX Pokemon, Four copies of Wash Energy and nine Water Energy. So that being said, let's jump into it. Let's see how we go. Okay. Oof. Cosmic Eclipse deck box might be ADP. If it is, then we're kind of screwed. I'm seeing all the Arceus themed stuff, so it might be a bit of an issue. We might have a bit of a problem. How are you guys doing today? I'm not doing too bad actually. I'm I'm enjoying I'm enjoying this little time. It's it's nice. Right. Cool. So he gets to go first, which is fine. I want to try and run out um, cards so I can do Arceus Hospitality. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, if it's ADP, I'm not gonna lie, it might be probably a loss. Yep, yeah, okay, god, oh god. Right, pressure's on. Uh, right, how are you guys doing today, actually? I'm not doing too bad. I'm kind of struggling, I've, I'm pretty sure I've said this in another video, but I've been struggling to kind of put decks together. It's, it's been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a problem. It's just, it's a bit difficult. Um, just, it's been more so of, how much energy does it get? None, thank god. Um, but yeah, it's been more so, you know, getting in a, um, thinking about what decks to run together and stuff like that. It's, it's fairly difficult. Um, right, I'm kind of stuck in the active on this one, so I might just have to... Oh uh, gosh, I'm going to be a sitting dog, aren't I? I'm going to be a sitting dog, or in this case, penguin. Right, but yeah, it's been difficult to find, you know, decks to work with and decks to... It's, it's been, it's been pretty tricky. It's been a fairly tricky experience. 
because um, obviously we've got all the cards now, everyone's kind of got their set top tier decks and you can't really make a new kind of deck, you kind of have to use the top tiers, you know, like um, I think the most recent one was like Picarom, Mewtwo and Mew, but then we've had those, we know what they do, we've seen all of it, like it's not that crazy, we've, we've seen it, we've seen it, we know what we can do, it's, it's, it's a bit insane. Right, I'm gonna get Snom and I'm gonna get Marnie for redraw because we need to get Snom rolling. Um, we could take one hit from Cramorant, but then that's gonna be about it. And then we're just kind of screwed after that. We got we got kind of a bad start. Eric's Hospitality was not the one to go for. If we had Marnie or Professor's Research, that would have been so much better. I might probably swap out. Um, I might probably swap. What's it called? A, an Erica's Hospitality for another Marnie, maybe? Um, being in mind, this is all like experimental. I've, I've literally just come up with experimented with this deck. I'm trying to look at what decks haven't really been seen and I'm hoping... Oh, nice. Nice to put on the Litwig, that's nice. Um, I'm gonna say attach to Ice Q because we're gonna need it. We are definitely gonna need it. Oh yeah, that, I, that weakness would be great. But then again, we get screwed up. We get screwed anyway. Right, Fess's Research. Um, let's just do Beat Catch. At least Kramer gives us our last or Um Right, Frostmoth and what? Reset Stamp to kind of dead him out a bit? Yeah, and then we can do Professor's Research afterwards. Cool. Um, hopefully he gets no switches, nothing like that. Cool. Um, but yeah, so I've kind of been experimenting. This is like one of those experiments. I've been kind of trying to see what can be done. It's a bit tricky. Um, because obviously, like, again, everyone's been using the same decks, we know what decks work, we know what decks don't, and, like, we've seen the experimental ones, like, um, no one's really done, um, Picarom and Mewtwo and Mew. Oh, come on, really? Don't get rid of Snom. Oh, Snommy, Snom! Snommy! No! Oh, that's fine. I'm guessing he's gonna pop a switch and then we're gonna be screwed, aren't we? If I can get, well, even Chandelure won't be able to... We just get one shot anyway. Right, cool. Um, could say boss and get a cheeky KO, but then we're gonna get screwed over because it basically gives him free retreat for his Zacian. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna just gonna swap over. Right, there's another Snom, which is fantastic. Um, should we waste the telescopic sight? No, keep it, keep it. Right, cool. Um, but yeah, so like everyone's done the, ex the the most experimental we got was uh, Mewtwo, Mew, and, Raj and Picarom. But even then, both of those are heavy hitters. We've seen them get used before. We we know this. We know that they've been used before. Um, so yeah, so it's not really like any card that's come out of the open. Do you know what I mean? Like we've we've seen it. We've seen them all. We've seen all the cards that can do any sort of good damage. And that's it. It's kind of it is a bit sad to see. Because I would really, I would have loved to see, you know, like something coming out of nowhere, like doing some crazy damage. But the best that we've got now is literally just waiting for, what's it called? We're literally just waiting for um, battle styles now. And that's going to take like three months. So we're literally, st I, I know we get like a few random one or two cards in, um, in Shining Fates. Which is going to be pretty decent like i think i think the ball guy comes out in shining fakes don't quote me on that i'm not sure but um yeah we get it we get a little bit we get a tiny smidge but then ugh, it's it's difficult it's very very difficult because we just don't we don't get much we really don't get much right um okay we're, we're going getting a bit low right ice cube if i can get frost moth that would be fantastic but I might have to research. I might have to do Professor's research. Uh, this is gonna be. This is gonna be a bit tricky. Um, let's see. Or maybe Eric. Eric's That would probably be better. Get more draw and keep the cards. No, I can. Yeah, I can accept that actually. Yeah, then we got. Then we can swap out. Yeah, cool. I can accept that. Right. I'm gonna say probably switch out what a Rangaru. For Frostmoth? Yeah, swap out a Ranguru. Get out Frostmoth. Cool. Um, only problem is, if I put down this other Ice Q, I won't have any space for Crobat, which is going to be an issue. So I think maybe it's probably the best idea if I don't do that. Get rid of Professor Research, get ready to get Crobat. 
I know it's not gonna be a lot, but I could try and pop a switch. Actually, I know what to do. I could pop a switch for Kremarin, and if Kremarin doesn't come around, and if I don't get the energy, I could literally just swap back into the thing. Yeah, that works, cool. I only need one extra energy. Nope, that's fine, but that's literally why we put up Kremarin instead. Um, right, it's not ideal, but it spreads there at least. Cool. It's a big spread. It is a wide spread. I mean, Ice Cube can get a very good wide spread. I mean, the only thing is, do you do Telescopic Sight or do you do uh, Cape of Toughness? Cape of Toughness, you get 260. Then again, we wouldn't have lasted this anyway. So, I mean, you could... Yeah, it comes... It's it's a battle of styles, really. <laughs> battle of styles. Um, but I think Telescopic Sight would probably be better. Only thing I would say about Ice Cube is... It's not a bad Pokemon. It's really... I don't see it as a bad Pokemon. I really don't. I don't see it as bad, like, at all. The thing that I think is the... Like, is the matter with it as of right now is the... Um... It's the meta. Because, obviously, Zacian. Since Zacian... Ice Cube literally came out at the wrong time. That's my opinion. I feel like Ice Cube is good. Both of them can put up so much damage. And with Frostmoth, it should be insanely quick. But the only problem with it is that they just don't. It, they, they just don't, because Zacian just gets them out quicker than anyone can do. Which does make it very, very sad. It makes it extremely sad. Right, Cabacious Bucket. I can take Cabacious Bucket. Um, oh gosh. Yeah, we've lost this anyway, but I want to see... Oh, wow, really? We lost all the energy? We lost energy now? Oh, okay, that sucks. Right, um, Nessa can go. Right. I need wash energy, dude. I just need one wash energy. That's sad. How do we lose all of our energy like that? Right, wash. Nope. Okay, cool. Well, GG then, I suppose. Right, uh, let's go next game because we literally got no energy. We're going to lose. Okay, fire deck. We could have an advantage. This should be f this should be okay. I'm sensing vivid voltage Charizard, maybe? Maybe? Um, but yeah, like I was saying before, I feel like Ice Q is decent. It's just the way that he came around, especially when we have things like, you know, Zacian and all things like that. Dude, Zacian is just getting too much love for any steel type weakness Pokemon to even be considered playable. Like, it's just sad. It's really, really sad, to be honest. Like, I don't know, it makes me kind of upset. Like, there's so many, like, you know, I'm pretty sure if Zacian wasn't that strong, like, people would still be using Gardevoir and Sylveon. Like, that's disappeared off the face of the planet. Like, people would still be using, I don't know, probably things like, um... Gosh, like, what else? Oh, Zacian again? Probably, like, people would still be using, like, you know, uh, Ice Cube, Pokemon like Ice Cube, Gardevoir VMAX, people would still be using that, Alcremie VMAX. It's just that whole thing of, it's got a fat, it's got a really horrible weakness for the meta right now that no one uses it, and it makes me so upset that that's the case. So upset. It's just, they've given too much love to Zacian, and they're still continuing to do it. That is literally, there's no point. There's literally no point. And it just makes things incredibly sad. Right, cool. Um, okay, cool. We can do this. Right, there's Ranguru, Frostmoth. Good thing we got Bird Keeper. Right, Bird Keeper flips up. Draw to draw. Loads of water energy to mess with. I am really happy about that. Right, cool. We can mess around with a lot of water energy right now. Right, so Ice Dance. So put it, put three onto Ice Q. We can put three and three. Oh, this is fantastic. This is brilliant. We can hit now, to be honest, because it doesn't use, they don't use, um, wait, let's swap out Nessa. Let's see what we get. Switch, I mean, yeah, sure. Yeah, that works a ton. Cool, let's go, Blizzard. Nice. Doesn't you still type energy, so we're safe. Cool, we're actually safe. If he doesn't put down the base Pokemon, we got this. Which I don't feel like he does. Come on, all those cards, you've got to have something, dude. Really? Nothing? you got to have something. There's no way. There's absolutely no way you don't have anything. Getting extra draw. This is... This is a bit concerning. How do you not have any? There you go, quick ball. Okay, cool. I'm guessing, I'm gonna assume it's Charizard. I'm just assuming it's Charizard. But I have, I feel like it might not be. 
Jirachi. Okay. Oh no, it still could be. It still could be Charizard. You see a lot of Jirachi Charizards. I'm surprised to see, you know, um, no one using Volcanion anymore. Volcanion's not really being seen. The last we saw him was with Center Scorch. That was fantastic using it with Center Scorch. But ever since, you know, Vivid Voltage came out, we've not really seen, well, Center Scorch and Volcanion, to be honest. No one's really seen it. It's a bit, it's a bit sad. But, um, yeah, I think, I think out of everyone right now, water type Pokemon are probably seen the least. Ah, oh, it's Bacephalon. Oh, okay. But yeah, water Pokemon are probably seen the least because they have two, like, um, they have two type matchups that are literally the worst for it. Like, um, some, now that the, you know, Sword and Shield errors here, water type Pokemon are now either weak to electric or, uh, metal, which is really sad because, um, that means either you get rocked by Pikarom, um, not even just Pikarom, Bolton, Chunky Chew, all of those type of Pokemon, or you're weak to Steel and you just get rocked by Zacian, and it's just like, really, you can't give us, you can't give us back the grass type weakness? Like, that was so, I don't understand why they changed it. Like, I know you probably wanted more weaknesses on, like, electric type Pokemon, but if that's the case, then just give us ice. Or no, don't, don't give us ice, give us grass type weakness. Like, make some grass, like, for example, I don't know, if there was some other, like, random Pokemon that, like, in the games aren't weak to electric but are weak to grass, just give us that. It just makes it so, it makes things really, really sad. Right, I'm going to attach the Kramer in, cause, in case we need to snipe someone. Right, cool. Um, cause he's got Beast Catcher, he's gonna take off an extra energy. Oh no, take off an extra prize if he knocks us out and won't go. He needs 5 energy, which I feel like with Welder, you could probably get very easily. But it's fine, we clap back with our Ice Q. Um, wait, he scooped, he scooped up his own Blacephalon? You had Welder, why would you do that? If he attaches two, why would you do that? You had the energy. You had everything. Giant half. Okay. He had everything. Why? That was such a waste. If he gets scoop up net, then I kind of see why. But that's such a big risk. Like, I mean, it's likely that he's got five, but or he's already got what three in the discard pile. Giant half again. Okay. Quick ball for what? Another Blaseth? Alright, so that's four energy in the discard now. How much energy are you even rocking? There's no way. Alright, Oracorio. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Oh yeah, and it also works because we knocked out his Jirachi last time. If I can get boss's orders to snipe out that Blaseth, that would be great. Well, there's the other one. How many wells has he used? He's used two, right? No, just, yeah, he's used two. I thought so. He's one for Zassi and then he just used one for Blissef. <laughs> but yeah, I just wish water type Pokemon got more love. I don't think they're going to get love for a very long time. There's not really... Because we, we've got battle styles, but Urshifu... Both Urshifu are fighting types. It would have been cool to see um, a fighting type and a water type, maybe. Because then you could have put on a psychic weakness, which would have been really unique but um yeah i guess because you make it fighting types because i've realized now every every big tier pokemon since um gosh what came out after was it rebel clash that came out after sword and shield base was it um i'm looking at my i'm looking at my boxes behind me and i'm trying to try to think is it i think it was i think it was rebel clash afterwards and then what was the top of rebel clash dragapult dragapult was the top of it um then he's got five hasn't he Oh my god, he hit five. Um, but yeah, so... What's it called? Yeah, so it was Dragapult, and then now we got Dragapult... Um, well, Dragapult VMAX was the meta back in Rebel Clash. Then... Eternatus VMAX came out of Darkness of Blaze, and that completely swiped it. We did miss out a tiny bit. Um, I don't know who the meta... There's not really anyone meta-wise from... What's it called? There's not really anyone meta-wise from... Um, God, what's the name? From Vivid Voltage. There's, I don't know, there's like, but not even Charizard. You can't even say Charizard. Charizard's not even that, like, up there. Do you know what I mean? He's not even, he's not there. He's just not there. Right, I'm going to put this last energy onto Cramorant and then swap over the Ice Q. Here we get, get Eric's Vitality. I'll be happy with that. 
If we get telescopic sight, that would be fantastic. Right, now he needs to fish for another world up. There's telescopic sight. Asking you shall receive. But um but yeah, it's been a bit it's, it's a bit tricky. There was no one that really stood out in Vivid Voltage. There was cards that made things a lot easier, but there wasn't really that standout deck. It was still kind of Etonatus, ADP Zassian, and that was kind of it. But then I'm assuming now when um what's it called? When Battle Styles comes out, Urshifu, both single and rapid strike Urshifu are gonna be meta. They're gonna take over Eternatus V Max, they're not gonna be even be seen anymore. Um, well, thank God, because that was such a. It, it's a bit of an annoying deck. I, I'm sure I've said this before. I'm sure I've mentioned this before. But my lord, it was such a annoying deck for me. I always like because I just like psychic Pokemon. I like messing around with psychic Pokemon, and since most of them are weak to darkness right now, it's like it's not great. I like Dragapult. I really do like Dragapult. I think it's my favorite V Max, and it's just such a shame. Yeah, cool, sick. Um, I would probably say now some time. Okay, so Ice Q, I mean it's alright, going back to what I said earlier, it's okay, like on paper it's okay, it's just such a shame because the meta right now forces it to not be okay. As we saw with the ADP Zacian matchup, it's like, we can't, you can't do anything about it, there's literally nothing you can do. By the time, you know, you set up and stuff like that, Zacian's already ready to just take you out in one go. Cape of Toughness won't save you. That's why I put up the one copy of Chandelure, but even then, you could get saved with Cape of Toughness if you get Chandelure. But only problem with that is that you'd sacrifice Telescopic Sight to do it. Like, I feel like Ice Q would have been really good if it didn't have a Steel-type weakness. I feel like it would have been at least higher on the list. So, I, I don't know, I feel like it just would have been a tiny... I feel like it would have been a smidge better if it didn't have the Steel-type weakness, unfortunately. But it does, so it's not great. Um, Cramorant, I always love Cramorant. Cramorant is such a cool card to have, it's nice. Um, Chandelure, again, I feel like it's very underrated, especially when it's comboed with the Ranguru. Top entry is fantastic. Um, Baby Ice Q, I feel like, can also hit very hard as well. Um, also, on a side note, you could probably mess around this like a lot with this deck, with um, ADP itself. Because then that way Ice Q V gets 150, um, Telescope Sight would also get 40 um, on Vs and GXs. Um, Baby Ice Q would hit 100 for 3 energy, which isn't that bad to sniff at, to be honest. You could one shot a Charizard with that, that is very, very good. Um, but yeah, you can do a whole bunch. You could probably mix this in with ADP very, very well. This would probably be cool with ADP. Um, again, only problem is the Steel Type weakness. That's just it's just going to be a pain. But there's not really much you can do about it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I think in terms of the it's it's a decent deck. It's just the weakness is unfortunate. But I feel like with the supporters, I feel like Eric's totality should be lower. Maybe swapping a Marnie again. Um, just because you, you want to keep your energy as much as you can, you might Ness is like a last kind of chance to get all your water energy back and stuff. So maybe keep away from using Nessa, maybe like last resort. So yeah, I probably do Eric's Hospitality to, for Marnie instead of Press's Research or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of it for this deck. It's a nice experiment. I don't mind it. It's just unfortunate. But yeah, that's it for me anyways, guys. What do you guys think about this deck? If you guys want to add anything, let me know. If you guys want to take a thing away, let me know. If you guys want to see any deck specifically, let me know in the comments. I'd be more happy to try it out. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, always click like and always click on another video. Guys, always welcome back and I will see you all in the next video. Alright, guys, take care and I will see you all later. Okay, bye!